Hello! Today we have something pretty cool to look at. So in Minecraft, you will probably know that there are very few transitions. So things just tend to go from one state to another state. So in this example, um, we have a diamond block, okay? But when you destroy the diamond block, what's normally going to happen is it's just going to turn to air. So it goes from one state to another state with no transition. So what I've tried to do today is to create that transition. So I've made a shrinking animation. So this is really just a small little visual effect, but it is pretty damn cool. So let us press the red button and it shrinks. Let's do it again a couple of times. It shrinks. Another time and it shrinks. So this was actually a suggestion by a guy named Facebotter in the comments on my videos. Um, and I thought it was a really good idea and I'm actually quite happy with the result. Now, I'm not going to lie, initially what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to create like a, um, so if I destroy a block in the world then we get the shrinking animation. But unfortunately, um, that it, it proved pretty difficult to do because the thing with that is for this to work you need to know the coordinate of the block being destroyed so you can summon stuff in um, to, to give the animation. Um, and the thing with that is when you're trying to destroy blocks in the world, like if I just place one over here and try to destroy it, then the game needs to know where the block that was just destroyed is and it needs to know its coordinates and then it needs to be able to summon things in at the co those coordinates. And that was proving quite difficult. But um, the actual shrinking animation itself isn't overly complex. So to create the actual transition, uh, the first thing we have is obviously a normal block, then the next block is a minecart with a block displayed in its, inside it and that gives a block that is a little bit smaller than a regular block then after that we have an armor stand with a block on its head then after that we have a small armor stand with a block on its head then after that we have a normal armor stand with an item in its hand then after that we have a small armor stand with an item in its hand and then we get this transition from big item to small item so to achieve all of this, we come over to this device and we would usually place a redstone block here and it will just in very quick succession summon and then delete the appropriate entities to create the effect. And that is about it. I might put the commands in the description if you want to try to recreate this yourself. It's pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.